Hi everybody, thanks so much for joining me today. Um, today I'm going to do another machine embroidery video and this one is going to be on a free lace design. So here is the design. This is the one I already stitched out and you'll notice it's on a water soluble stabilizer. The design is from Designs by Juju. She has a couple different designs for these and this is a bookmarker. Okay, so this is how it looks. Here's the back. Everybody always wants to see the back. And I haven't yet done anything with this once it's stitched out. So what this is, is free lace. Okay, so free lace actually means, in my eyes, it's no fabric is used. This is all 100% thread. Isn't that beautiful? And this is a different type of water soluble stabilizer. I'm going to use the I'm going to show you the one that I used. I got this through Amazon. You'll probably pick it up in um, local fabric stores. It's Ultra Solvy Water Soluble Stabilizer. And it says the perfect stabilizer and transfer agent that dissolves in water. So it's made by Sulky. Okay, there it is there. Um, here's the UPC code, if that helps you out at all. And um, let's see how much is on here. Um, the weight is heavy and the color is translucent and it's seven by seven eighths by eight yards. So there it is there. This is the first time I'm actually doing something like this. So here it is here. And um, I don't know if you can, you probably can't tell because I, I definitely can tell how much thicker this is. And I wasn't sure if it was going to work because they do tell you to use the water soluble stabilizer that kind of looks like cloth and you use two layers but um, I think it came out perfect with this so then what you would do when you're done with it is you'll take it out of the hoop and I don't have any water here but I would take this to the sink or a spray bottle and spritz all this and what happens is all this water soluble stabilizer goes away and it has a little hole here on the top you can see right there and you would put a little tassel in that and it would make a beautiful bookmark. These would be very easy. Well, they are a little time consuming. I'm not going to uh, lie about that. A little time consuming, but these would be great to put inside a card. Maybe uh, someone you know or a shut-in that they like to read. And it's just a beautiful bookmark. There are all different kinds that uh, Designs by Juju has. And again, here is the back so you can see now I did see someone post on the the Facebook page that they used a piece of um, oh and it just escaped mylar almost escaped my head they laid a piece of mylar over it and it even gave it more um, opalescent looking so I have a five by seven hoop they come in all different sizes and I'm not being paid by designs by juju i'm just i just you know me i do these videos to share with you when i find you know a project that i'm working on and it seems as though a lot of you you know want to keep seeing the embroidery um youtube videos coming so how can you help me with this well you know i have to purchase everything that i use so all you have to do to help me out is to hit that subscribe button if you're not yet a subscriber and by doing that and sharing and subscribing you help promote my channel thus you help me to make a little bit of income through the advertising ads through Google and I really appreciate that okay so while I was doing all the chit chat I put this into the 5x7 frame and um, we're going to go ahead on over to the machine and get started on this. So close your eyes if you get a little seasick. And let's come on over here to the machine. All right. So there you see the design up. Make sure you have a pretty filled bobbin. Took quite a lot in the bobbin to uh, do this design. So this is just the one that I downloaded. Now there are a lot of stitches and it does take some time. 13 different changes with um, your threads. It's 21,000, no, 
yes, 21,058 stitches, and it takes 33 minutes. Okay, so the color threads I'm using are the ones suggested here on the screen. And I have some that are bro thread, and these are from Thread Nanny. And they have the numbers on them, and the numbers correspond with those numbers. Now you definitely can go ahead and change whatever colors you want. So the colors I'm using are 085, 086, 534, and 502. So I think it's pretty. I'm going to stick with the same. So let's get started. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the whole entire video. I know I always say that, and then I chit chat through it, and then before you know it, a half hour is up. But if you wanna go ahead and fast forward, you can. If you enjoy the chit chat, hang in there with me. I'm gonna start off with uh, 085 as suggested. I probably should change my needle, but eh. I would have done that before y'all came and I didn't do that, so I'm not going to do that right now. All right, so let me get you nice and close in. Whoops, so sorry. Movie in. You know me, I don't do any kind of fancy, fancy video taking here. And I don't know if I ever really will, but this works for me and well, it is what it is. Okay, so I'm gonna put the foot down and I'm gonna get started. This one's going to take four minutes and it just kind of builds and builds and builds upon the bookmark, adding all the different colors. So I do have white in my bobbin thread. And uh, the good thing about this is with the stabilizer, you can see right through it. So even though that stabilizer is kind of you know, sticking out of the hoop, which is what you want. You want to make sure your stabilizer fits your hoop. It's going to go ahead and get the first base color down. I just think these um, freestanding lace projects are so much fun. I've been so intimidated by it, but I thought today is the day. I'm going to bite the bullet and I'm going to give it a try and see. And if the first one works out well, well, here we are. A video is formed. <laughs> pretty much how I do everything with um, my embroidery is I usually try to stitch it out the first time and see what happens and if you don't see it then that pretty much means it didn't work out so then I have to work out to see why it didn't and uh, go from there <clears throat> so anyhow what's been happening with me oh my goodness it has been one busy, crazy week. How many of you can relate when you have those kinds of weeks? Well, that's been this week. Um, I don't know. I've just been super tired um, trying to get the mojo to want to even come up here to my craft room. Um, by you commenting on my videos, though, that was one step in getting me to come up here because so many of you have been commenting, and I really do appreciate all of your comments, and I do respond to each and every one. Sometimes one or two will slip out through my fingers and not see them, but I do like to respond. Those of you that are still responding to my um, first videos on an embroidery machine, the 535, PE 535. Oh, excuse me. Oh my gosh, see, tired. Um, I still get a lot of people commenting on that. So if you're watching this video and um, you maybe came from watching the 4x4 hoop machine that I had, that was my first machine I started with. Then I upgraded to the 1600. Then I upgraded to this, which is a Brother Essence VE 2300. And um, I really love this machine. It has up to an eight by 12 hoop size, which I love. Don't always use a large hoop like that. Majority of the projects I wanna say are five by seven. But when I got into making bibs and dog toys and things like that that are bigger, the 8x12 was a definite game changer. So I do love this machine and um, knock on wood, it, hopefully it will continue to serve me well. 
So anyhow, yes, it has been a busy week. Um, I did uh, my Facebook Live with my stamping on Thursday. This morning, I did a Facebook Live with my stamping. And I'm going to tell you, those of you that do Facebook Lives, I have such issues with my internet doing these videos. Sometimes to upload a video, I may start it at night before I go to bed and it may go all night long to the next morning into the next day before it finally uploads to YouTube. So I think that's going to uh, warrant a call to my um, service provider. I know I did get a letter a while ago saying that um, the box I had was outdated and I needed to update the box, but I thought that only had to do with the cable TV, which like I hardly ever, if ever, watch TV, regular TV. If anything, I'm watching YouTube or I'm watching Netflix or um, Amazon Prime movies. When I'm up here in my craft room, I like to have something going in the background, whether it's um, a video or um, something online that I can listen to while I'm doing my crafting. It's a little hard to do when you're doing the embroidery, but a lot of times what I will do, okay, that was color one, so now we have to switch colors. What I will do is um, I have two desks right next to each other here. So this one is the embroidery desk, which this machine takes up about three quarters of this huge desk because it's a big machine. And right next to it, I have the same desk. These are these origami desks I got from HSN. I'll tell you, I love them. And um, if I ever move, they're very portable origami. And I have to sneak in here. Origami makes a great product. Um, it folds up, easy to move, not big, heavy desk. You know, being I'm, you know, I'm here myself, so. I don't really have any help to be moving desks. Okay, let's go ahead with the next color. But um, I will, while I have the embroidery going, and I'm wrapped around my cord here, my foot, don't wanna send that running. Um, I'll work on some stamping on the table next to me or I'll be writing up some cards or you know things like that, which is just what I was doing while the first one was stitching out. I have a whole bunch of thank you cards to send out. <coughs> Excuse me, and that's what I was doing. So um, today is Saturday. What is today's date? Um, Saturday the 18th, September 18th, 2021, depending on when you're watching. And um, so I've just been really busy. And if I wasn't working, then I came home and I was just tired. Um, it was one of those weeks where I was just tired all week. And um, at my full-time job, the air conditioning was not working. They... Um, what was that little noise? Sometimes you will get a little bit loud noise because it's stitching over previous stitches. So I do have to pay attention to that. So it was the one day it was up to 77 degrees in my office. And I, I'm in my office all day long. And I'll tell you, I was just wiped out from the heat all day. So that's pretty much, you know, um, between working and stamping and embroidery and videos and just everyday life, things taking care of the house. Um, we had some pretty bad storms this week with thunderstorms and rain. It's just sometimes a lot. It just takes a lot out of you. And hey, I'm not 20 years old anymore, right? How many you can relate to that? Relate to that, raise your hand. So maybe you did notice or didn't notice, I changed the name of my channel. After a lot of consideration and a lot of reviewing my previous videos and see what gets watched and what doesn't get watched, I'm going to tell you this channel has really taken off with the machine embroidery. So I'm not sure if you you all just you know are into machine embroidery or you like watching it or you like seeing what can be made with it or maybe you have a machine and you know it's pandemic. Um, anyone that bought a new machine places you bought them from if you went to a dealer they were not offering classes I never got a class on any of the machines I purchased because the whole pandemic hit and everything was been canceled 
So that's why I like to bring these to you. Um, like I said, the, all these videos are free of charge. If you wish to donate by subscribing, helping me out, I appreciate it. But um, I don't even know where I was going with that. But anyhow, oh, I changed the name of the channel to Sweet Bee. So if you follow me on Facebook with my embroidery, it's Sweet Bee Embroidery. So I thought I'm just gonna get rid of the stampin'. Stampin' Sue Creates, even though I'm still that on Facebook for my stamping. I don't think I'm gonna be uploading any more videos as far as um, stampin' or stampin' up. Um, I used to upload my weekly Facebook Lives. Well, if you wanna see those, you can go ahead on over to Facebook and see them there at my Stampin' Sue Creates. Okay, now we're gonna change to number 534. So, yes, I did do that. And um, that's what I decided. But I do also have a 534, okay. I have an embroidery channel, uh, a Facebook page, not a channel, a Facebook page on Sweet Bee Embroidery. So you can go ahead on that. And um, I like to post pictures of the things I've made. So if you're brand new here and you're wondering, well, what else have you made? If you go on there, you'll see all the fun embroidery things. And if you ever see something that um, you're interested, oop, I'm gonna pull that right out. So let me try that again. If you're interested in, please reach out, let me know. A lot of times I make multiples of things and um, if I sell a few things, it helps me to bring in some more income so I can you know, go ahead and buy more uh, designs buy more thread you know stabilizer is one thing I go through a lot of stabilizer and um, I've tried doing craft shows I've done a few craft shows and I don't really know if I want to go back to doing craft shows because it's a lot of work you make a lot of things and I still have a ton of things that I have made expecting to sell them at a craft show and they just didn't sell whether you know the audience wasn't the right audience um, or it wasn't the right time of the year or you know some of the shows don't get a whole lot of people attending whatever the reason I come home with all my stuff after making it all putting the money out to make it setting it up sitting there all day breaking it down coming back home I mean it's a craft shows are a lot of work when you have to do it all by yourself so right now I think I'm just going to continue making things, sharing them with you, making them for friends, family. The holidays are coming. I have a lot of projects I want to start working on for holiday gifts. And just bring the fun back into machine embroidery. It's, you know, it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. I really tried taking on um, some uh, different projects such as this one. I'm really excited about the free lace. And I even have some um, ornaments it's time to change the thread again so there's a lot of thread changing if you have a multi-needle machine that's where these come in handy because you set your thread up and it just automatically goes on to the next color but I'm not quite ready for that I'm still a hobbyist I'm not looking to get into um, you know all that uh, I mean I, I enjoy this machine and I'm happy with this machine and that's that for that but anyhow so oh pardon me um number 502 is the next thread color so there's four thread colors two pinks and two greens so it'll be fun to stitch this out in different colors and it it's just um something really different and you'll hear that that little clunk that's because it's going over the previous embroidery so the first time it did it, i was like oh no what's wrong but um yeah so so the ornaments um i've seen most people do the ornaments what i've seen already in one color so uh, i want to give that a try that's on my list i do have i have so many designs that either were free designs or i purchased and you know it's like oh i want to go home and i want to make that well and then it's like, oh, you see another one. Oh, I want to make that. Well, I mean, there's only so much you can make, right? <laughs> How many can relate to that as well? But 
Um, yeah, we see them, we get them. And eventually we will have time enough to stitch them out. But I'm really excited about these bookmarks. And like I said, I ordered um, tassels. I don't know if I said or not. Ordered tassels through Amazon. And um, I think they're coming tomorrow. So put a nice little tassel on this. And what a great little gift it would be. If you're sending a friend a card or just, you know, a little note that you're thinking of them and this pretty little bookmark. Because believe it or not, people still do read books. A lot of people are not into the electronic books. I like electronic books because I like that I know where it's at. A lot of times if I put something somewhere, I can't find it. I don't know where it is. Just like um, for today, I bought the water soluble stabilizer that looks like the fabric type and it came this week and I don't know where it is. I mean, I don't know. So that's why I'm like, you know what? I think I had this in my stash that um, I had bought. And I thought, well, let's give that a try. And fingers crossed, knock on wood, it's doing a great job. But I definitely wouldn't use like that flimsy clear one that you use when you're putting it on top of a towel. I would not use that because I don't think that's sturdy enough. Or if you do, I would probably do multiple layers but um, this one is working out really well. I'm interested to see how this would work on top of a towel because it really has some stability to it, you know, and it's not flimsy like the other one is. The other one literally looks like saran wrap. It really looks like that. But isn't this design beautiful? Are you seeing? Let me see what you're seeing. Yeah, you are getting a good view of that. And uh, it's just, as, as the next color is added and added and added, it just, there's one that has a butterfly. So I just downloaded the one design. So when you buy them, it comes with multiple designs and multiple sizes, like I said. So right now, uh, Designs by Juju has these on sale for $6. And if you spend $20, then you get um, a whole bunch of other downloads for free. So um, I ended up, I was only going to buy one, but you know how it is. It's a bargain. So why not get them all? And then I got this cute little download that makes these cute little ugly sweaters. So I'm excited to give that a try. You can make those as little ornaments or magnets or, you know, whatever you want. Or applique on something. Um, but yeah. All right. So what else has been going on in my life? Um... Well, not too much. Um, I'm noticing uh, every day that the days are getting shorter and shorter as far as daylight. And uh, it's kind of sad. You know, what, you know, used to be light out till 9 o'clock. Now what time is it? It's um, 7.05 p.m. on Saturday and it's already starting to get dark out. And that's kind of sad, you know, because, of course, it's September, so, you know, fall is here or coming here. I notice a lot of the leaves here in northeastern Pennsylvania are starting to fall off, starting to change a little bit. Um, I love the cooler nights, but I'll tell you, the temperatures during the day are still warm. They are still not wanting to uh, cool down yet, but I do love a cool temperature and you know how the weather is going to change because today i don't know how many of you know what a stink bug is mm, i haven't seen them but today i saw my first one so i'm like yep then fall is coming because it just seems like that's they come out in the spring and then they show up again in the fall and there was one sitting on the screen trying to figure out a, i suppose his way in the house and uh, I really dislike those. I don't really like any kind of bugs. Um, spiders, bugs, bees, anything like that. Um, but especially those stink bugs, they are just... And if you do squish it, I'm telling you, it does stink. And it kind of lingers, you know? So the best bet would be pick it up with a tissue and throw it out or put it in the toilet and send it sailing. 
which is usually the way I do. And the one time I captured one in a bottle <laughs> and I added water to the bottle. I know, I'm just terrible. But hey, I didn't invite them in. You know, they're not here paying rent. They don't belong here. Okay, so now we're going to go back to um, 085. So that was the one we started with. So you'll see it's just the four colors over and over again. And I bet this would be beautiful in purples. Oh, purple is my favorite color. And I can't wait to stitch one out to download the rest of them and give them all a try. So as I do, I will post them on my Facebook page. So go ahead on over there and follow me so you don't miss out. Okay, this is three minutes for this. So we are about halfway through. Real pretty design. And it's hard to believe that there's no fabric. So what's up with you all, you guys? What, you know, those of you that are following that um, watch my videos, you know, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Do you do machine embroidery? Um, do why, you know, what all types of other crafts and things do you do? Do you own a machine? I mean, I'd love to hear more about you. One of these days I'm going to do a uh, YouTube live. And I know I've mentioned that before in the past. And people are like, yeah, yeah, YouTube live, you know. But, oh... It's so scary to do new things, just like with Zoom. I mean, my internet is so poor that I don't think I'd be able to get through a Zoom to be live. But if I videotape them, um, you know, of course, I don't have any trouble with that other than uploading. But um, definitely going to check and see what all is going on with my internet, whether I need to have, I mean, I upgraded my uh, Wi-Fi to have multiple uh, boosters throughout my house. And I ended up moving the booster where it's like right on the desk that I'm using it. And it still did not make any difference this morning in my uh, Facebook Live. So I'm starting to think, is it Facebook? Is it, is it me? Is it my internet? Is it my house? Is it, I don't know. I mean, my phone that I use, which is what I'm using right now, is a fairly new phone. I mean, it's not ancient. So I do want to try doing it using my iPad. So I made another purchase from Amazon for um, my iPad to hold my iPad while I attempt Facebook Live. So that's going to be my next step is to try my iPad to see, is it? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. So those of you that do Facebook Lives, if you do them at all, um, do you, have you been experiencing any of that? I mean, all along, I've been doing Facebook for way over a year, and I've never experienced the problems that I've been having over the past maybe two months or so, well, maybe a little longer, but mostly the two months where the interruptions come. And multiple where the one uh, Thursday night I literally had to stop and go back and start it over again because it just would not it kept saying reconnecting reconnecting you know that circle of death that keeps going round and round and round that we so dislike so anyhow um, so next weekend there probably won't be any videos posted uh, my grandkids are coming to stay here my daughter and her uh, husband have a wedding to go to, so I'll be getting them Friday night and Saturday, and then Sunday, uh, my kids are coming to help me clean out my basement. Um, my basement has a lot of stuff down there, and um, after the last huge flooding situation, I realized I need to get it cleaned out. I need to get rid of stuff I need to donate okay now we're going back to number five three four 
I just need to clean it out and get out stuff that um, some of it is still my daughter's from when she lived here and um, pick up everything off the floor. I do have shelving units down there, but again, a lot of them are filled with things that probably haven't moved since the last time my basement flooded, which was over five feet of water in the basement and everything went. So it's been 10 years and it's just time. Plus one of these days I am going to be downsizing and probably selling my house and going into some sort of rental apartment. Um, my only problem, not that it's a problem, but my only stipulation is I have two animals. I have a cat and a dog. And a lot of rental properties will not take animals. So um, right now it's pretty much feasible and cheaper for me to just stay in my house and fingers crossed that you know my home is old it's an older home fingers crossed that everything keeps working and if something does break um, my son's pretty good at fixing things that you know hopefully it, it'll be an easy fix and not too expensive because I only have one income and um, if something major breaks most of the time it's not normally the item that breaks it's the labor to have someone fix it so i'm pretty fortunate that my son is able to um, do a lot of work like that he's pretty handy knows a lot of stuff okay now we're going back to the 086 color so we got about 10 more minutes of chit chat and then, believe it or not i'm starting to run out of stuff to say <laughs> Okay, but I definitely want you to see this. So if you don't want to listen, like I said, go ahead, fast forward. Um, wish I knew how to do that, to go into editing where I can just fast forward through, you know, like all that TikTok and everything. That's how I think all those videos are put up, that they're all like fast forwarded. So there's no chit chat, you know, all it is is just fast, fast, fast. Okay, so this one is going to be three minutes, but you can see the design taking shape. So for now, let's just take a breather and let's watch the machine do its wonders. Love that little curly cue. I didn't even notice that on the design. I mean, look at it. And yeah, there it is. It's really cool. Very cool. Thank you. 
Okay. Next color is going to be the light green, the 502. And I know I tell you all the time, when you're removing your thread and changing, be sure to cut it at top and then pull it through the needle. Don't try to back it up because what happens is that plays around with your tension and you can end up having problems with your machine. So always cut it at the top and then pull it from the needle to pull it all the way through. This one is just one minute stitch. We're about halfway through, more than halfway through all the color changes. But as each color is added, it really does add, you know, a whole different look to it. one is going to be the darker color green the 534 again and this one's going to be a three minute stitch and let's go ahead and get that color in the machine And I like to take the thread, um, hopefully not unthread the needle, but to kind of pull it flat. You know, pull it out from the back, kind of what I meant. really brings out the color, doesn't it? That darker green it really pulls in the, that pink. So when I'm done with all these um, and I go ahead and upload the video, I will um, take these into the bathroom and um, run them under water and then allow them to dry. And once they're dry, I will take a picture of them and post them over on my uh, Sweet Bee Embroidery Facebook page so you can see what they look like when they're all done. Oh, I'll probably, you know what, I'll probably wait till I get my um, tassels. I suppose you can make your own tassels, but they were really inexpensive for a whole bunch of them. So I just bought them through Amazon. And I know people keep telling me you ought to have an Amazon link, you know, where you get credit for all your Amazon purchases. And I really should, but just one of those things. I mean, just another thing to do. When I could take time away from my crafting.
that was quick. Okay, not too much more to go. So hopefully you're still hanging in there with me. Kind of ran out of things to say. I mean, I don't know. Um, next one is 085. Can you imagine me running out of things to say? That's 086, 085. All right, let me get that. 085 must have been a popular pink. My spool's getting low, but I do have in reserve, so don't worry about that. I have more than enough thread to last probably the rest of my life. <laughs> Oops. It's like awkward working around the, uh, the camera there. Well, I hope I threaded that properly. I guess we'll find out if it goes to stitch and it's not happy. <laughs> this is one minute. Just a few more to go and then we will be complete. And then I will upload this and go grab myself some dinner. I have some leftovers in the refrigerator. I really need to go to this grocery store, but you know when you get to that point where you kind of want to use up everything that you have before you add any more. I'm at that point right now. So it's starting to be slim pickings. I get Misfit Market, um, which arrived today. And I was a little disappointed this time with my selections. So I kind of got a lot of fruit. And... Uh, Last time I was a little disappointed too. I only have it come, um, now I'm going to go with the lighter green. I only have it come every other week. Um, but um, I don't know. I had it going, my subscription. And if you don't know what Misfit Market is, it's um, produce. And also they have other things too. And it's all organic. And they're literally misfits. Like they, the sweet potato might, you know, be like an odd shape or um, that kind of thing. But every single thing that they sell is organic. And, um, you know, it's fresh. I think it comes to me out of New Jersey, which New Jersey is um, about two and a half, three hours away from me. But, um, for what it costs for organic fruits and vegetables in the store, I think it's a pretty good bargain. You can check it out and uh, see what you think, but um, I wouldn't recommend it for a family. Like if you're one or two, um, you you know you kind of don't really get enough for a family. Like for one person, for me, it works out well. But I think this time, let's see, what did I get? I got apples, I got uh, strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, grapes, peaches, plums, nectarines. I'm trying to think what else I got. Like this time, they didn't have any melons. I didn't see sweet corn. I still had um, greens, like I still have spinach and... Um, lettuce and things like that in my fridge so I didn't order any of that they even have um, things for your pantry um, cereals and oatmeal and um, condiments and all kinds of things and I think it's you have to do $30 worth so you get to pick whatever you want and um, they ship it to you they just started adding um, meat um, organic and grass-fed meats. Um, there was one I saw on there. It reminded me of that um, Hamburg that Burger King has, the Impossible Hamburg. So it's like meat made out of ground-up vegetables or something. I don't know what it is, but I'm not into any of that. Okay, so now we're going back to um, 085, and then we'll only have one more after that. But 085 is a four-minute stitch. But I mean, if I'm going to have meat, I want to have meat. I mean, I don't want to have no plant-based material. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, many of you can relate to that. I mean, I do like uh, red meat. I don't eat a whole lot of red meat. Sorry, I hit the camera. I eat, eat a lot of chicken. Um, 
I like to buy the already made roaster chickens. Ooh, my favorite is Sam's Club and I'm thinking of joining Sam's Club again, but it's like $45. But I mean, I love their chicken. The seasoning they use on their chicken, I don't know what it is, but it is the best roast chicken. And I don't know, it used to be $5 for chicken. I mean, $5 for a chicken already made. I mean, why make, why buy a raw chicken and cook it yourself? You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, I'm on the fence about joining. I may join, and if I do join, I can add my daughter onto it, and I know she will use it a lot. Because she has all, you know, family to feed. So, um, I'm on the fence about it. But, um, yeah, so I eat a lot of chicken, turkey, um, I just was having, I was having this week on a tuna fish kick, and I don't know how you like your tuna, but mine has to be cooked, has to be cool, has to be cold, like refrigerator, and just with a little mayonnaise, uh, like a sandwich kind of thing. I'm not into the hot tuna or tuna melts or anything like that. It's not my thing. So I was taking that. Um, I do, I love pizza. I like Italian food. Um... I like Mexican food, Chinese food. Only select things, though. I don't go into any kind of crazy stuff. I kind of have a very plain palate when it comes to food. But um, next weekend, but back to that. I was talking about that. So I'll have the kids for next weekend, my two grandsons. And uh, Sunday we will be doing the clean out. So I got, my, got some real heavy-duty bags. Um, I cleaned out one of my closets on Labor Day up here in the hallway and boy I'll tell you there was a lot of stuff jammed in that closet I must have had about six or seven bags that I took to Salvation Army to donate you know clothes and bedding and just things that have been in that closet I mean if I haven't used it you know maybe someone else can you know sheets all sorts of things so I felt good about doing that so I'm in the kick now of wanting to clean out things I think it's long overdue, but I have to laugh because when I was cleaning out, um, I came across two big, those two big, huge tote bins, and um, my mother had given me photo albums when she sold uh, her house, and I said, yeah, I'll store them upstairs, I'll put them in a closet. Well, I never looked at them because she got sick and she passed away, and I don't know, looking at old photos and things like that just you have to be in the right frame of mind but when I was cleaning it out I'm like you know what I think you know it, it's going to be three years that mom's gone in January and I I wanted to see what all was in there but oh I had to put them away because I thought I'm not gonna get no cleaning done there's pictures from back when my grandmother was young my aunts and uncles now my grandmother was one of eleven so there were a lot of siblings and then marriages of siblings and children of siblings. Oh, they were a big, big family. So I saw a lot of those pictures and unfortunately my mom and dad have both passed. They're gone now. So, I mean, to find out who a lot of these people were because, you know, my aunts are now in their 80s and 90s. You know, they don't look the same as they did from how many years ago. But it was fun looking at them, and I really enjoyed it. And uh, my brother's supposed to be coming in the week before Christmas. Um, he's away. He lives down in North Carolina with his family. So um, I think I'll pull those out because there's a whole album of him from a baby up through when he was in the Army and, you know, high school things and... I don't know maybe he wants them maybe I'll just hold on some I don't know what he wants to do but um, really fun to look back when we were kids we you know we didn't have a lot of money my parents we didn't go on big vacations or anything but we did do a lot of camping and picnics and fishing and and things like that and that you know it just brought back a lot of memories a lot of memories we went to amusement parks things that were local you know like day trips those sorts of things okay we are almost done we have one more one more minute and then voila and see here I thought I wouldn't be able to talk for <laughs> 33 minutes well I did take a little break in between 
Okay, so the final one is no, is number 086. And it's just going to do the top of it. And we will then be finished. So I'm interested to know how many of you stayed throughout the whole thing. How many of you fast forwarded? Let me know. Let me know. Okay, so we're just going to do this little cross section here in the top. And then we will be complete. So it's 33 minutes, 21,058 stitches, 13 different changes of thread. And all in all, not too bad. I don't know if I'd want to make, you know, 100 of them, but, you know, for special people in my life, yeah, it'd definitely be. Mm. I think I'm about due for a giveaway, too. We'll see. We'll see what. This would be something easy to ship out. And we are almost done. Okay, we are finished sewing. So let's take this off of here. And let's go on over to the desk. Oops, something fell on the floor here. Hold on before I roll over it in my wheelie chair. All right, hold your eyes while I move you on over to the desk area. Oops, okay. All right, so here we are. Here is our stitched out lace design. Now you'll notice some threads here. Let me grab my scissors. So before I take it out of the hoop, I'll just go and snip those threads. Makes it a little bit easier to do it now rather than later. Just a couple of them are here. Let's see if there's any on the front. But I'll tell you, that is a stunning, stunning, stunning design. So there it is. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. And it's this one, I think I did the seven inch one. So here was the first one we did. Let me just fold this back a little bit. This water, water soluble stabilizer. And there's the second one. I think it's really beautiful. So you can see it's not hard to do if you're new to machine embroidery and you want to give free lace embroidery a try, definitely I would use the Sulky Ultra Solvy Water Soluble Stabilizer or you can use the Water Soluble Stabilizer that's the fabric type. However, I probably would double up on that and um, I think it's if I find the one I ordered, I can stitch one out and let you know how that turns out. If not, I have more of it ordered, so it should be arriving shortly. But I think it's a fun, beautiful project. Um, people in nursing homes, maybe nurses, just somebody that you want to give a nice quick little gift to, stick it in a card. I think they will love it. Once you put the little tassel on there, it's going to be beautiful. So I want to thank you so much for joining me here today. If you are not yet subscribed and you enjoy videos like that, I really would appreciate you subscribing to my channel, helping to support me. And um, if you know of anyone else that would enjoy videos like this, be sure to share. Sharing is caring. And um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, wherever it is you are. Please be safe out there. And I look forward to seeing you very, very soon in my next upcoming video. Have a great day. Bye for now.